The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle or the Vortex of Doom, is thought to be one of the largest areas in the North Atlantic Ocean between Florida, Puerto Rico, and the Bermuda, where ships and planes enter but never return. A multitude of unexplained disappearances have happened in this strange area, and although logical theories point to what could have happened, the triangle still remains a mystery to many people. Accounts for strange activity in the triangle date all the way back to the first voyage of Christopher Columbus, when he experienced compass malfunction and reported seeing strange flashes of lights, possibly a meteor, and at the time, the only answer the crewmen could think of was paranormal activity. Yet today, scientists and meteorologists have painted a clearer picture of these phenomena that can be linked to storms, bad weather, reefs, and gulf current, and also the fact that the Bermuda Triangle is a high traffic area and ships and planes do make it out of this so-called vortex. According to the website today I found out, the buzz about the Bermuda Triangle began to surface in the 1950s when the Associated Press published an article written by Edward Van Winkle that brought attention to the strange incidents incidents and miss of missing planes and ships and the relation it had to the Bermuda Triangle. And later, the term Bermuda Triangle was coined by the author named Vincent Gaddis in a magazine article. The Tempest, a play by William Shakespeare, was also a story based on a real-life shipwreck in the Bermuda Triangle, which also brought publicity to the already growing mystery. Considering there have been numerous accounts of disappearances, the two most talked about are the five U.S. Navy bomber planes and the U.S. Cyclops ships, ship that was never found. One of the most infamous cases of the triangle was in December 1945 when five U.S. Navy bomber, bombers disappeared without a trace. The five bombers were scheduled to take off from Fort Lauderdale, Florida for a practice training mission. Approximately two hours into the mission, the lead captain reported compass failure and could not determine his location along with the rest of the crew. Radio facilities on land tried desperately to make contact with the crew but were unsuccessful. It is said that the faint radio signals were picked up and heard that the planes were to ditch the aircrafts because of lack of fuel. A mariner aircraft of 13 men was then sent out to rescue the other 14 men at 7.27 p.m. The mariner was never heard from again after takeoff. Reports from the History Channel indicate that a tanker cruising off the coast of Florida reported seeing a visible explosion at 7.50 p.m. Overall, a total of 27 men disappeared and no bodies or wreckage was found either. This occurrence only heightened the legend of the Bermuda Triangle since the time experienced since this time, ex experts have conducted research and ventured into the triangle and measured the electric waves in the area. Some conclusions have been drawn in one explanation called electronic fog, which are bizarre storm clouds caused by storm, caused by storm clouds and high-level solar winds, can be a possible cause for the malfunction in compass and radio transmission. The second major disappearance in the triangle was in March 1918, when the U.S. Cyclops, a 542-foot-long boat carrying 300 men and 10,000 tons of magnesium, sank in between the Barbados and Chesapeake Bay. The carrier ship was sent out to Rio of Brazil on a mission to deposit coal in exchange for manganese ores used for making steel. After receiving the necessary supplies, the ship set sail on February 16th and began to make the journey back home to Baltimore. According to the article, The Great Mystery of the Sea, almost a month later on March 3rd, Lieutenant Commander Worley took the ship on a detour and stopped to refuel and access more supplies in the Barbados. On March 4th, the ship was back on course and was scheduled to arrive roughly two weeks later, but the ship was never heard from again. A massive search and rescue was sent out, but no trace of the ship or even remains was found. One theory of the ship's disappearance is that it sank on its own because of the heavy load, although there was never an SOS signal sent out. A simple conclusion cannot be easily made from these events previously discussed. As one skeptic put it, trying to find a common cause for every Bermuda Triangle disappearance is no more logical than trying to find a common cause for every automobile accident. The Bermuda Triangle has had just as many plane and ship accidents as other places in the world. Many of these stories about this area have been over-exaggerated and have no evidence that points to actual paranormal answers. Instead, scientific-minded theorists lean more towards magnetic abnormalities, storms, water spouts, currents, or sheer unexplained accidents.